Mm, it's so good to be home. And I'm so glad you're back from China, Mom. <laughs> Breakfast with Ronnie is like one big joke to him. You ask for a half boiled egg, he boils half an egg. <laughs> Hi, Daddy. Morning, Daddy. Hi, Hello. Oh, how Auntie. Huh? Hi. How was your trip to China? Uncle doing fine. Glad to be back. Good. I have a problem. Frank's son, Dinesh. I'm meeting him later. Frank has a son? Yes. His irresponsible ex-wife just ran off to London, abandoned the poor boy, and left him with Frank. That is terrible. Well, I may have made it sound about a thousand times worse. Mm -hmm. But the point is, mm -hmm. I have to like him. And I have to make him like me. Mm -hmm. And Frank will want us to like each other. Huh? <laughs> That's uh, Dinesh and me. Uh, not Frank and me, because Frank and me, we like each other already. <laughs> ah, yeah, I'm sure he will like you. Everyone likes you. Huh? Oh, but what if he doesn't? <laughs> then Frank won't want me anymore. Wow. Then blame the ex-wife. She's an easy target. It's not fair of Frank, you know, to just put me on trial like this, placing these huge, unreasonable, unattainable expectations on me. <laughs> No, but if this thing fails and I don't get my man, that's the excuse I'm going with. <laughs> Seven, not eight. Uh huh. But call before leaving. Uh huh. And please pick up your dry cleaning on the way. Okay, Anita. Got it. Bye. Poor, poor Paul. Anita's got him wrapped around her little. Ow! <laughs> Paul! Please resume sliming. <laughs> Let me gaze into my crystal ball. <laughs> Anita are married. Paul's wearing a sarong. <laughs> He's doing the ironing. <laughs> and Anita's wearing the pants. <laughs> that is typical Ronnie Tan macho BS. Look, Anita is not like that. Oh, yeah? What does this remind you of? <laughs> Paul is not going to be a handbag husband. Although I do notice that she always keeps him waiting. And tells him what to do. Yeah, as if she's the one in control. Mm. But you name me one relationship that's equal. Well, that's exactly it. There are none. So Paul and Anita could end up like mom and dad. And worse, Auntie Rosa and Uncle Yusuf. Mm, every time he comes in, you'll have to check him for pinch marks. <laughs> Paul! Huh? You're, you're home! <laughs> <laughs> Baby, yes. she, well, yes. uh, yes. she, she, I okay, she, he, I, well, we, one day, isn't it? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> It's the formidable Daisy Matthew scale of a tiny nine-year-old, huh? Hey, hey, okay, okay. Hey, Frank! Hey, hey, and this little fellow must be the age. Hey, I'm Michael. My father says you're a clown. <laughs> uh, well, yeah, you know me, clowning around. Hey, have you heard this one? The customer says to the waiter, Hey, waiter, there's a fly in my soup. And the waiter goes, Mamma mia, it must have committed insecticide. <laughs> that doesn't make sense. I don't get it. Boy, 
tough room. Huh. Hey, Denise. Now, this is Auntie Daisy. Hi, Auntie. Where's your toilet? Hi. Uh, through the kitchen? Right there. He doesn't like me. He likes you. He doesn't. <laughs> he meets Daisy for the first time. And what's the first thought on his mind? Mm -hmm. Oh, I have to excrete. Well, if you put it that way... And yeah. you, we, we aren't even married yet. And you yet expect me to be an instant mother. Well, we can always make Dinesh a little brother or sister. <laughs> oh, when do we start? Well, let me warn you. I need lots of practice. <laughs> okay, practice makes perfect. <laughs> Oh. What are you guys doing? Not talking. Uh, talking? Nothing. Nothing. Talking. 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 Oh. It's all your fault that Paul is mad at us. You started it. Put me? You killed him. You did it. You started it. You started it. Oh. Hey. Big brother. I haven't seen you for one whole hour. I missed you. Miss you. Miss you. <laughs> Is the room messy? Can, can we tidy it for you? You know, mop the floor, fold your clothes, uh, arrange the books on your bookshelf, mm -hmm. you know, horizontally, vertically, uh, maybe even something a little day, 35 degrees. <laughs> Alphabetically by author would be nice. Okay. okay. <laughs> Look, I know you guys didn't mean any harm. Anita's a busy, take charge career woman, and it's natural that she appears quite assertive. That's exactly what he meant. I could have put it better myself. Yeah, so, so you're okay with it? It doesn't bother you anymore? Of course not. Don't be silly. I have to be mature about these things. Why would it bother me? Uh, because this is the first time in three years that you're eating unhealthy, oily, greasy cha kway tiao. <laughs> this isn't any old cha kway tiao. It's unhealthy, oily, greasy cha kway tiao with extra lard. <laughs> Comics! <laughs> so that's where my green lantern went. Hey, the silver surfer. Dinesh, why don't we play soldier? Yeah. I've got a gun here. Can we play Scrabble? What? Scrabble? Come on, Dinesh, let's play something that I'm good at. <laughs> Why don't we play hide and seek? I love hide and seek. <laughs> All right, Daisy, you're it. Where do I have to? Hey, Auntie Daisy's just trying to be nice. Go and hide, okay? Come on, come on, I'm it. Go and hide, go and hide. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm coming. Auntie Dolly, I'm Dinesh. Oh. Oh, hello. Uh, Frank San. Come in. Uh, where's Frank and Daisy? Playing hide and seek. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, what about you? I'm playing hide and seek too. <laughs> Can I read my book here? Okay. I'm okay with it. It doesn't bother me anymore. Anita's a busy, take charge career woman. It's the Late Show with Ronnie Letterman. And now, the man who invented edible underpants, Ronnie Letterman! Thank you! Thank you! Thank you! No, no, please sit down. Thank you. Sit. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Tonight, we have a great show for you because we will be talking about my brother's girlfriend, Anita. <laughs> Gonna be good. Oh, yes. The very charming Anita. She's so charming that she charmed the pants off my brother, Paul. <laughs> That's why she's wearing them now. <laughs> 
Ladies and gentlemen, I now have in my right hand tonight's top ten list. Tonight's category, top ten signs that you have a bossy girlfriend. <laughs> and here we go, number ten. She refers to you as my insignificant other. <laughs> Number nine, when you go to a restaurant, she makes you order from the kitty menu. <laughs> no! <laughs> Number eight, when the waiter comes with a check, she takes it and says, does he look like he has money? <laughs> no! 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 It's just a dream. It's just a dream. Must be the chocolate girl. All right. Oh, okay. Daisy, what are you doing? Setting the table for dinner. But I thought we were going out to dinner. Remember? I'm going nuts. Why can't he be like a normal child and play soldier? Scrabble, scrabble, scrabble. Only oh, wants to play scrabble. Which normal nine-year-old only plays scrabble? When I was nine years old, I was the school scrabble champion. Oh, thank God you're here. Oh, I don't know what I'd do if I was just all alone with him. Better have a damn good reason for that look on your face. I'm going to kale tomorrow. What? <laughs> it's my father. It's my crazy senile 80 year old father. He wants me to sort out some legal affairs for him, so I have to go. Frank, you're a dentist. I know. Well, you know my father. The dentist, lawyer, rocket scientist, it's all the same to him. <laughs> I'm leaving you. Please. Come back. Look, this could be good for you and Dinesh. You could bring out the child in him. Don't leave me alone. He'll turn me into a nervous wreck. Uh, what are you doing? You're, you're, you're setting the table again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, 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 look. Just... Look, he's always indoors. Now you could show him life outside these four walls. Show him the great outdoors. Huh? Yeah, wish he were older. Then I'd just show him Geelong. Well, the thought did cross my mind. But, you know, I think we should wait until he's 18. Yes. Where's Uncle Michael? Oh, he's outside playing football or basketball or something. Oh. Do you like football? Basketball? <laughs> hockey? How can you not like hockey? You're an Indian. My mom doesn't like me to play outside. We'll go and play outside. You and me. Okay. But I can't go too far. My mom doesn't like me to go too far from home. Oh, dear. I was going to take you with me to Bora Bora. Would that be okay with your mom? You know, Auntie Daisy, you're not very serious for an adult. <laughs> Please don't hold that against me. There we go. Uh, hi, Frank. Yeah, well, he's actually outside with Daisy at the moment. Oh, he's back. It's your dad. Hi, Dad. I played outside. Daisy! What happened? Haven't I told you before, when you go swimming, wear a swimsuit? <laughs> ah. Auntie Daisy, it's my dad. Hello, Frank. 
I... You made my son wash the car? I wanted to show your son the great outdoors. He refused to go past block 413. He says you yelled at him. He is, is the most uncoordinated person I've ever seen. He can't even handle a water hose. He... he yes, I yelled at him. All right, all right, calm down, calm down. The main thing is you tried. And you're going to keep trying, right? Yes, I'll keep trying. Even if it kills me. Scrabble, anyone? <laughs> Hi, Anita. It's me. Paul. <laughs> Remember, we're supposed to meet for dinner at 8? Well, I want to meet at 7. Uh, because... Because I want to. <laughs> well, then, how about... I want to meet at 7.30, then. Uh, 7.30 is the best I can do. How about 7.50? 7.55? Okay, I'll see you at 7.55 then. Bye. I don't want to meet at 8. I want to meet at 7. Because I want to. There was my brother. Embarrassing me on national TV. <laughs> mm. You pop too many pills, young man. Mm. But, but these are my stress busters, Dr. Freud. Oh, please. Call me Siggy. Hmm? <laughs> now, tell me about the other dream. Well... Um, I was playing the piano, mm. uh, for Elisa, I think, mm. uh, when my girlfriend Anita walks in and, and, and shoves me aside and, and takes over. Mm. Mm. Um, uh, do not worry. Uh, men have this dream all the time. Uh, it is called uh, pianist envy. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> or in a lighter vein, do it my way or the sign way. Sometimes. Oh, oh. So, um, you're saying that uh, women want what men have? Of course. They want it all. The whole Wiener Schnitzel. <laughs> Hello? Yes, Carl. <laughs> no, Carl. I do not want to set up a practice with you. I am very happy with my own clinic. Mm -hmm. Goodbye. <laughs> Carl Jung. He is such a pen. Please, continue. Mm. Um, so, uh, I'm normal? Oh, thumbs up. No. My book has been selling like hot sauerkraut. So, I thought... Mm, uh, mm. A sequel? Mm, good idea. Mm, but no. My own line of merchandising. Mm. <laughs> Mm. Wow, mm. a t-shirt, mm. a towel, mm. a baseball caps. <laughs> My latest, the Freuden sleep. <laughs> mm. 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 <clears throat> yeah, take one and give it to your girlfriend. Mm. 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 And make sure she wears it. I do not have one in your size. Um, cooking Dinesh's favorite lamb curry, I understand, but 
Why are you getting the recipe from a dictionary? Do increase my word power. Huh? This is the plan. Dinesh will love my cooking. He'll eat so much, he'll feel sleepy. Then we'll play Scrabble. But he's sleepy, so I'll beat him. But I won't just beat him, I will destroy him. So that he never plays Scrabble again in all his life. Daisy, he's just a nine-year-old boy who might one day be your son. Killjoy. <laughs> just kidding, la. Actually, I've decided to win him over. Oh, when did you decide this? When he sprayed water all over me. I said to myself, either admit defeat or go to jail for the murder of a little boy. <laughs> I see. Tell me, Daisy, um, how would you tackle a situation where A and B think that C bosses D around? Am I D? No. Why is C bossing D around? That's not the point. I ain't be married. I wish I hadn't started this. You know, Paul, to make my curry work, I need A, B, C, and D. What about your curry? Well, my curry just needs C and D. Then forget about A and B. No, but A, B, C, and D are close. It doesn't matter if A, B, C, D, E, F, G are close. Because C and D make good curry. I see. <laughs> okay, I I'll make sure C gets your advice. <laughs> hey, why not play Scrabble at my place later? Your huh? aunt. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Dinesh, I thought you were having a nap. A power nap. I never go over 40 minutes. <laughs> Auntie Daisy, I'm sorry I got you all wet yesterday. That's okay. And I'm sorry you had to look all over Bishan for me when we were playing hide and seek. That's okay too. Are you cooking dinner? Yes. My mom can't cook. She can't even boil rice. And does she play hide and seek? Scrabble? Well, we are going to play Scrabble tonight. Great! And can we wash the car later? Ah, uh, no. Uh, we we'll just drive to the car wash. Okay, can I drive? <laughs> Wow. You mean quack, don't you? <laughs> no, quack's a word, see? Who's next? Me! Okay, T-R-O-Q-U-E. Croc! Wow. Are you sure? Daisy's been getting lessons from the maestro. Um, it's... Oh, uh, T-O-R-Q-U-E. Torf. <laughs> it's out there. U E H Kwe Mom, Kwe is not a word. It is Sung Kwe Chi Kwe. Yeah, Collier Kwe, Boat Kwe, Clark Kwe, your son. G O O Goo. Is in gooey? Is that the best you can do? Look, yeah, more points. And it's your middle name too. G O O N Gun. MediaCorp Studios production for Channel 5.